may not have heard of the group known as ACORN. It's registered hundreds of thousands of new voters, and it could be in some legal trouble now over voter fraud allegations. Drew Griffin of CNN Special Investigations Unit has just gotten some new information for us. This, uh, this all captured our attention when you showed up these places and they just simply didn't exist. Right. I mean, this is this is Lake County, Indiana, but Acorn's in trouble all across the country with its its huge voter registration. Actually, 1.3 million new voters registered according to Acorn. The problem is, are they really voters? Up in Lake County, Indiana, they're finding out they are not. Some 5,000 applications came in, all filled out by Acorn, and there they are. They went through the first 2,100 of them. Every single one of them Fraudulent, and I want to show you here yeah, how, you know? how they know. Okay. All right, so all these right. are the ladies that have to go through it. Here are some of the samples they gave me. Take a look at this one. Here is Bob States, Tara Strong's, and Shea Bones all signing on the same day. Obviously, these are all the same person filling out the same signatures. If you just look at the S's, that's one. Okay, so that's all fake. Here's uh, Levy McIntosh. Levy McIntosh. He registered to vote. Let me get the date here. It's 8108. You get that, Robert? Let me get my hand out of the way. 8108. He registered to vote in Lake County. The problem is, Levy died. Levy died on November 16th of 2007. All right? So it's going to be very hard for him to vote, let alone register to vote as a new voter in uh, Lake County. So that's obvious fraud. And here is the other one that they gave me as a, as a clear example. It's kind of funny. Jimmy Johns. Uh, and this street address. Jimmy John's is actually a sub shop named Jimmy John's. Did you go get a sub? I, I, I went there and I looked for a voter. I didn't get a sub. Yep. <laughs> you got an I, Italian sub versus really, an actual person that voted. <laughs> yeah. It would be funny if this wasn't all criminal. And in fact, the uh, Indiana Secretary of State has now asked for an investigation. Now, we have a letter uh, that he is sending to the Attorney General, I believe, calling for an investigation, saying I've secured credible evidence of fraud in the voter registration process. He wants the Lake County uh, District Attorney and the Secretary of State and even the U.S. Attorney to get involved with this investigation. You know what, not only is it not funny, but it's such a waste of time. And if you look at what we went through, you know, in previous elections, you know, from hanging chads to uh, voter irregularities, I mean, we're talking about our country right now, dealing with an economic crisis, a war in Iraq, a war in Afghanistan. And, you know, for people to do this, it's just, it's a shame. It just wastes more time. And you wonder if the process uh, will even that your vote will count. Yeah, I mean, certainly legitimate. the credibility has dropped in the system. No matter which way Lake County votes, Lake County heavily Democratic, by the way. Which way it votes, either side now ha is going to have ammunition to say, oh, there's probably voter fraud. And keep in mind, those ladies that we showed who checking through, right? Fraudulent or not, legally they have to check and verify every single one of these. So it, they're working 12, 14-hour days mm. up there just trying to verify what they already know is fake. Now, what does ACORN say about this? I talked with their attorney in Boston. He tried to defend this in two ways. Number one, saying uh, we hired some bad apples. And number two, that actually it's the government's fault. Take a listen. These employees, many of our employees, are very, very dedicated. Many of our, most of our employees are dedicated to getting people registered in their community so their communities can participate in democracy. As in any business, some of them go to the McDonald's and lazy and don't do their job. We, our quality control fires these people. We fire them. That's what we can do. What we also can do, what, what we can do. How many we could fire? We have a list of, of about 50 people who we turned in as problematic cards. I don't know, you know, so, How many people did you fire? I, I, I don't know. We, fired, we fire people who we catch getting problematic cards. And we ask election, you know, how could... Fire people in Lake County, Indiana? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. But you don't know how many? No, I don't. But let me tell you another way that we could have helped prevent this, and that is to have election officials do their job. When we turn these cards in in other cities and other areas in March and April, and we ask election officials and law enforcement that prosecute our employees so that we could tell our employees that no, this isn't just a firing offense. This is an offense that can lead you to jail. Then we could put that up in the in the um, ready rooms where we train people. Hmm. Uh, I was on the phone during that conversation, but really couldn't explain why 5,000 of these turns in, 2,100 so far fake. They're, they're going to go through the rest of yeah, the That's not just like 50 mistakes. I mean, we're yeah. talking thousands of. Right. And all dumped or placed in the registrar's office on the last few days before the deadline ended. So it wasn't like an ongoing thing where they were turning them in and you could weed out the bad ones. It all just came in at once. Oh. It was not a good idea. We'll not follow the idea. investigation, that's for sure. Yeah. Meanwhile, I mean, 
what, what happens now? I mean, is there new oversight? Are there new checks and balances? Well, those ladies in that office are going, going through, through them every diligently single trying one. to make sure they're not missing any of this. The, the, the concern is the volume is so huge that they'll actually miss one and send out a voter card to levy. Okay. They better died. be getting hazard pay, <laughs> double pay, something true. Right. Thanks a lot. Well, let's go ahead. And